Elon Musk's Tesla phone is all set to crush Apple. Elon Musk alternates between brilliant and insane, making him a lot of fun to watch. Even if you're not an investor, investors have far too many opportunities to regret their investments in Musk's companies because he makes the related securities and several cryptocurrencies far more volatile than they would otherwise be. Musk has recently expressed interest in a rumor that suggests the company is working on a Tesla phone with its own unique feature set. Given Tesla's trajectory, the phone makes a lot of sense, particularly as a hedge against Apple's rumored electric car. Now, given Tesla's direction, the phone makes a lot of sense, don't you think? So, without wasting any more time, let's dive deeper into the matter. Tesla's Apple Problem Tesla and Apple approach their respective markets similarly and both benefit from similar advantages. Apple was founded by a charismatic leader named Steve Jobs. And Elon Musk has done a better job than Tim Cook of mirroring Jobs' unique approach to management and product creation. Both companies have impressive customer brand loyalty, exact market valuations, and several large companies vying for them. Tesla does little marketing and has a track record of poor quality control. While Apple has significantly reduced its marketing, it still essentially leads its market in this regard, and Apple has a tendency to set the bar in terms of product quality. There is a strong link between iPhone users and Tesla buyers. So, if Apple releases a car that is deeply integrated into the Apple ecosystem, it has the potential to eat into Tesla's market share. Apple poses the greatest threat to Tesla because of its extreme customer loyalty, visibility, and sizable marketing budget. Apple's reserves make it a potentially dangerous future competitor to Tesla. Smartphones are finally becoming essential elements of new Tesla vehicles, and they are already partially integrated with the audiovisual technology that is found inside Tesla cars. This integration would give Apple a competitive advantage, and it might prevent interoperability with Tesla vehicles while discouraging Apple customers from purchasing Tesla cars. This final argument has a good chance of convincing Musk to rethink the design of his phone. The Tesla phone? The circulated coming soon phone is rumored to have Qualcomm's high-end Snapdragon 8 series solution. Colors that also match Tesla car colors, the ability to operate better as a car key for Tesla automobiles than any other phone, and, this is the uncertain part, the ability to connect to Starlink. All of these features are expected to be included. This final possibility is a long shot because in most cases, a smartphone needs a large antenna as well as a radio that is significantly more powerful in order to connect to a satellite. Nevertheless, if they were to succeed in making it function, it would give users of Tesla phones an enormous and unmatched advantage as they would be able to obtain connections with relatively high bandwidth years before 5G would be available to them. If a 5G network was unavailable or if you wanted to watch a movie on your phone while driving, the best option, in our opinion, would be to integrate the satellite connectivity into the vehicle itself, which would make it easier to conceal the large antenna. After that, you could set it up so that your phone connected to the vehicle, rather than the 5G network, you know, to get around data caps. After that, the vehicle will be equipped with a satellite connection that is always active, allowing for remote control and a more reliable reporting system for attempted thefts or damage to parking lots. The Tesla phone could be further integrated with your Tesla vehicle, which is becoming increasingly common as smartphones take the place of physical car keys. For instance, it might have individual buttons for locking and unlocking the car, locating it, and yelling for assistance through the car's external speakers in order to attract people's attention. If you had this autonomous feature and wanted the car to pick you up, the phone would also help the car locate you so it could do so. If Elon Musk is more visionary than the Apple CEO, Tim Cook, was with the Apple Watch, he will make those features configurable so that they could work with other cars. If you do think about it, this phone could be a foot in the door to getting most people to buy Tesla's automobiles. Tim Cook was more visionary than Elon Musk was with the Apple Watch. Oh, and just as a side note, a Tesla smartwatch that worked with the car might be even more interesting. But there's no rumor about that feature being implemented just yet. Now, it is important to keep in mind that Qualcomm assisted Apple in the production of the very first iPhone, and that since that time, they have significantly increased their ability to fulfill their duties. 
Tesla would need to add the car features, which is something that they are precisely more than capable of doing. This would be necessary because Tesla starts with market-leading phone technology thanks to Qualcomm's assistance. It's possible that Tesla will do a better job than Apple of integrating the phone in the car. Qualcomm is capable of having successful partnerships with anyone and did so successfully when it assisted Apple in getting started when the company was worth much less than it is now. Neither Tesla nor Apple has shown itself to be an excellent business partner. With assistance from Qualcomm, Tesla may be able to more than catch up to Apple in terms of phone technology. Given their work with car audio and autonomous driving, Qualcomm has significantly more experience with automobiles than Apple. In spite of the fact that Tesla is lacking on a phone side, Qualcomm will help close that gap. On the other hand, Tesla knows significantly more about cars than Apple does. If Tesla is able to get its quality to where it needs to be, which is big if considering its history, the company should be able to deliver an improved driver experience sooner than Apple can. In addition, the regulatory obstacles that must be overcome in order to construct a car are significantly more difficult to overcome than those that must be overcome in order to construct a phone. Consequently, it can be argued that it's possible that Tesla will have a significantly faster time in the industry with Qualcomm than Apple will have with just its new car. Ironically, Tim Cook is less of a car guy than Steve Jobs was, which suggests that the first Apple car will most likely be Apple's Zune. Tim Cook, on the other hand, is more of a computer guy. If that Apple car is a disaster, well, it would likely make not only Elon Musk's day, but also Steve Ballmer's day, as he was the father of Zune and would appreciate Apple having a similar experience. If that Apple car is a disaster, well, it would likely make Elon Musk's day, but also Steve Ballmer's day. Well, because no one has access to any reliable sources, the only thing anyone can go on when discussing this phone are assumptions. And it is impossible to say what the interior of this phone might look like. It would have all of the standard components, such as a 512 gigabytes to one or two terabytes of storage, eight to 16 gigabytes of random access memory, an AMOLED display, and a screen measuring approximately 6.5 inches. Anyway, let's wait and see what Elon Musk has in store for us regarding the phone. It may or may not even be close to what we expect or predict, but generally speaking, if building rockets for Mars exploration wasn't a big deal to him, it's fair to believe and put high expectations on this upcoming phone. What do you think? Do you think that the Tesla phone is going to make it to the market? And if it does, is there a possibility that it would take over the smartphone industry? Share your appreciated thoughts in the comments section below, and we hope to see you in our next amazing video. Until then, bye!